Hello, in this video I will show you how to navigate between your projects and there are th three ways to do that. The first way is to click on projects. It's the third button from the left in your navigation bar. And then simply select one of your projects. You see here the name and on the right you see the identifier. You can click on either and you also here you see those arrows if you click on an arrow you will see the sub project of a project so everything here is sub project of umbrella corp if you want to fold the list simply click again on the arrow and you just see the main project now you can simply click on the project like here red cap and you enter the red cap project. You can also click on the identifier, that doesn't matter. You get are redirected again to the project. So that is the first way to do it. You could use filters, but personally I don't think it's too useful for simply selecting your project. But when it comes to issues, it's really helpful to use filters, but I will explain it when we are there. So second way is to use the identifier like Bangalore. You go up here and behind your web address, Redman rework VNC bits slash projects you type in another slash and the identifier like Bangalore, click enter and you're in the Bangalore hype trend project. This you can do with every project, simply use the identifier, put it after your web address projects slash identifier and you can access every project directly. There's a third method. The third method is up in the right corner. There's a list. Simply click somewhere on the button and a list of your available projects will extend. And the cool thing is you can always uh, filter the list by simply typing in some letters. And now you see everything with an R and an E. If we say red, we only see the red cap project. If we now click on the project name, we can enter the project. And this is really the fastest way to search projects and enter them. So now you know the three main ways to access projects and always remember choosing from the top right corner should be the fastest and give you the quickest workflow when choosing projects so that's it in this video in the next video i will show you how to create new projects and see you there